it just kind of it kind of happened there was no rehearsal um i mean there might have been on some other stuff but for a lot of a lot of my stuff we just kind of jumped into it and, and that's just a testament to the professionalism of the actors and the and the crew and, and everybody else hunter you made uh your you made jordan's humor come alive with your dialogue i love it like every time i watch the film I give myself permission to laugh at a lot of the things you bring to it. <laughs> so there was some cool casting, but we have with you. We what do we do? We had we definitely played. You know, tried to build that chemistry with your family, your parents. So that was fun. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. The silence, by the way. Yeah. If I might say that the chemistry was really, you know, at least for me, it was really easy. I mean, everybody was really nice, really down to earth. I mean, this isn't, you know, excuse me, this isn't Hollywood ass asshole town. This is, a, this is an area where people are real, you know, real people doing real things, you know? So uh, it, it felt good for me. It was actually kind of refreshing on that tip. I, I really appreciated that, you know? So, and Hunter, dude, you funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna add to that, um, Alfonso's got the rare ability to make anybody around them feel like they're the most important person. Oh, okay. Just their first instant first meeting or whatever. That adds a lot for the chemistry too. Uh, meeting him the first time is like family comfortable. He's, there's no hang up. Yeah, he, 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 let, he let me just escape to the, 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 the corner in the back of the room and no one had to talk to me. But <laughs> <laughs> he kind of feels that void. Um, I just wanted to ask how you guys came up with the idea for this movie. What is it called? Uh, did, did Ben make you ask that question? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that's my sister-in-law, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, So, th this has been 10 years in the making. 10 years from the moment we started, 2013, until now. Long time, right? I met Jordan in a uh, boring insurance job, right? We were in training, and I kept looking back, and he just kept typing, like, on his uh, laptop, and I was like, man, this guy's taking a lot of insurance notes. Right? And I eventually looked back and I was like, dude, are you taking notes about all this? And he goes, no, hell no, I'm writing a script. And I was like, you are? And he goes, yeah, man. And then, uh, do you remember Michael Jordan? Yeah. It was called Michael Jordan. Uh, but the true story, uh, Jordan lived out in LA, uh, Jordan, and he lived with a buddy, Michael, whatever. But uh, so I read the script. Um, next day, uh, you know, kind of told him what I thought, whatever. And then like, I've been a movie fanatic all my life, all my life. And I write short stories. So uh, we kind of sat down and I was just like a little puppy, like, hey man, I write short stories too. And I was like, uh, you know, I'll write this one. He was like, eh, and this one, Ugh. this one, eh, this one. And then finally, like the fourth one, I was like, hey, I got a story about a guy, originally it was supposed to be a guy who comes and he's writing a uh, diary of himself. And every day he wakes up, he's in the cabin, but he starts to realize that things are changing, right? He's almost like a, a werewolf, so to speak. And then we went to Chick-fil-A, I think, every day for a year. <laughs> No, no BS. Uh, during our lunch, during our lunch break, and then we came home. Same script writing uh, software got on. He'd be like, "Okay, I'm on page 13." I'm like, "Okay, I'm on page, you know, 60." And then we'd meet again at Chick Fil A and go over it. And it took a long time. We sent the script off to LA, right to a script uh, uh, a processing place, whatever. Yeah, just like a screenplay. Yeah, and it came back, and it was like, uh, "Check, check, check." And they would say like, hey, you, could, you should make these changes or make these changes, and we did. So what you saw here was like revision 20.0. But what I will say is this, Jordan and Ryan kept this thing alive. This thing would be dead if it was up to me. After five years of this, <laughs> after five years of like, oh, I think it's gonna get made, it may not. I was like, you know what, I'm out. He literally kept this thing alive. Jordan kept this thing alive. So what you guys saw was because of Jordan's hard work and his rewrites, and everything like that. So can we please get a, a round of applause? Yeah. 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 We kept this thing alive. It, it took me five years to delete all the shit that you wrote. And I feel like survived. I think the first scene everybody was is that yeah. camping The camping scene, scene that's survived. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that yeah. survived. A lot of it. it yeah. Was, yeah, there's a lot of original lines that were from the very first script. Yeah. yeah. The shit, sorry. Yeah, the, <laughs> did I say that? The wolf, yeah. But, uh, yeah. 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 So I'm going to ask a question for if I'm going to get this and you can get it. So my son and I, my husband, were at the, um, the grocery store, you know, the for decades. But um, I wanted to ask you, stylist, so my also almost eight year old, how did it feel being in this movie? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Just pretend you're talking to a seven-year-old. <laughs> yes. He came in what the second to the last day. Yeah. 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 You were very good, dude. Yeah. He killed it. <laughs> killed it, right? <laughs> I don't so think we could have did this part. years ago either. Yeah. Just the whole dad experience alone. Yeah, which is to be honest, like if we would have done this ten years ago, it would have, it wouldn't have not come, wouldn't have come out. Like I have kids now that are you know eight and eleven, and so having that experiences as a dad just really changed um, that for me. And that was being able to bring that life experience into the role was was a lot. Um, gave me a lot more to play off of than than what I would have had years ago. If we made it earlier. But Jordan was always going to be our Peter. I don't know if you remember. Like you're coming up, whatever, doing it. Yeah. Sometimes it was like, oh, well, what if somebody else did this? It was like, no. Jordan has to be. Jordan has to be Peter. That was the one caveat. Yeah. One caveat. <laughs> Jordan and I met uh, 2006 in a film called The Ultimate Gift. It was shot in Charlotte. Did you work on that, Anil? No, wasn't no. on that one. But, uh, yeah, he was. He was a stand-in. I was a production assistant on set. So yeah. that's that was our first uh, collaboration, and then we did film called Sunset and Nowhere. So this is our third feature film together. So. How much does the deviate from your guys' original plan? I know you said you had some, you felt that made it in, but what was it, like 80%, 90%? We did have to cut the second grocery store scene, be, not, not because of casting, and a lot of the extras, a lot of you got the background. Yeah. You were in that scene, we had to cut it because of a meat grinder. <laughs> it was it was loud. It was such a loud noise. You remember that, right, Patrick? Yeah. That, so, uh, but other than that, I mean, uh, there was there's been a lot of scenes like just to be at the cabin that kind of came and went. Um, um, changed else? the order. Yeah, some of the order got changed. I mean, it's a lot worrier than it, <laughs> that it was probably 110 pages. When we cut it down. Your original idea. Yeah. When you, when you guys sat down and wrote the script, you thought this is it. There were a few scenes that we added in. Uh, there was a lot of issues with just the overall character building that we needed to, to do a little bit better. Um, and then as we kind of built those characters, we made those characters a little stronger. Things shifted a little bit. Um, it was funny. I mean, it was always, it was it was a very, very similar journey. You know, Peter comes in, Peter goes through some stuff at the cabin, goes camping, comes back, goes through some more. The, the AA scenes were new. Um, that was probably more some of the newer stuff. And um, I did not, the scene with, um, the scene at Ned's house yeah. with the sheriff and Ned and, I, and me, uh, that was, I think, the, the last scene that I wrote. So that was, was one of the, the very, which is like, why didn't I have a scene with the three of us? I have no idea. But that finally clicked and I put that in. That was the, the last scene that we added to it. I was pushing for that because of uh, Jaws. 
the yeah. scene in Jaws where the, the actors all get together and have their conversation on the boat. Oh, on the Orca? Yeah. yeah. Yep. But you, um, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't get your name, but I'll always remember you in the dining room. Oh, yeah. Michael. Michael. Yeah. Michael Goodwin. Michael Goodwin. You had a question. Uh, uh, I might have worked with uh, Danny about 17 years, uh, years ago. Danny Vincent. Yeah. On another production. I was going to ask you, uh, are you going to put this in cons or festivals or whatever? How, how do you get that going about buying copy or getting a copy? Or so we will be streaming. Um, we'll, we'll announce which service. Um, we're going to also, we're going to try to go for everything streaming wise. Um, it was in the Charlotte Film Festival last week, sold out. So this is a private screen to premiere. Um, yeah, the Charlotte Film Festival in the same room. So it's kind of an honor. It's cool being in this room two weekends in a row. I'm kind of I, I live by like 80 miles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Thank you for coming out. Yeah, thanks for coming out, Mike. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely send out a group oh, yeah. email yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, people, oh yeah, um, you're not going to have to buy the film, your film. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get you a link. Yeah. 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 We'll get you a link. Thank you. We'll let everybody know what it's Just don't let the executive producers hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, cool. Thank you, Anil, for coming. Chris. Hey, I just want to say, you said something about chemistry. I'm not in the business of film. I'm actually a teacher professor. I got the full editorial in some ways and then quite seen in the some props. So. I can tell you, working with these guys, and I back up what Mike said about our class training on these cool concepts. But, uh, you know, for a couple weeks there, it sort of like, felt like a small family. And, you know, whether to get some coffee or a Diet Coke or something like that. But, uh, you know, I also felt like this too with the class is that when you have a real good group and it ends, there's a sadness to it. Yeah. So I see everyone back here again in a tight group and I see everyone out. I just think it's a great honor. And it was an honor working with you, Chris. Chris, like, was so resourceful. So resourceful. Thank you. Thank you. Any other secrets you'd like for us to spill? <laughs> what was the most challenging scene to film? Oh, everything with me in it. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Um, Things got challenging with, at the cabin, and I thought that was going to be the most smooth part because a lot of it was just, you know, minimum cast, one location, and we were parked there for a week. But because of the wolf situation, uh, we couldn't shoot that in order, so we had to shoot around the wolf, a stuffed wolf. <laughs> and he was a diva of the set, so that was that was pretty challenging. Uh, uh, last minute. Um, yeah, it was the day. Oh, yeah, you weren't there. It was the day before your day last day. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. yeah, so we had to shoot around that. Some of the some of the challenging parts were um, doing the camping scene. Was the owls in the woods behind my house just oh. kept going off? As soon as we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Maybe right above. Hey, Chris. Yeah. 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 Just one last thing I gotta say, Charles. He's not here. He's in Europe, so I can I can rant him out. Uh, you talking to Tyler? Well, no, no, Dollars in California, but nowhere. They are trying to think of a scene. It was like the last day we were over at Mike's house and adding some effect that would just get people to go, whoa, and them saying, what if we ran across the road on all fours? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the most paused scene. <laughs> 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 that, 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 yeah. Oh. So, uh, when Jordan was having dinner with the sheriff and his wife, saw her fingers turn into like uh, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are yours. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Manicure. What was your inspiration? What was your inspiration for that? Um I think you told me to do it that way. No, but <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about like um uh, Dracula. Oh yeah, that was that was that little, that was that Dracula. <laughs> There was that Dracula, well, that kind of Dracula element, that kind of, you know, because I, I, at least in my head, it was Jordan, Jordan's character, Peter, was, you know, he was flaming out, you know, so things are going to look a little over the top, you know, um, and uh, I think that was one of the reasons why when you went to lunge at me and I gave that little smile, you know, I don't even know, I, in my head, it was still in your head, <laughs> you know. But uh, it was that same sort of thing. It was like, okay, well, let's just feed his, his imagination a little bit. So I did a little bit of that.
Um, did you tell me or did I just come up with that? I'm just sorry. This is how we work. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Kind of just, I like it. It was symbiosis. It kind of made it happen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give uh, some prop, major props to Nick C. She was our um, special effects Ooh, major. Yeah. Oh, she, she was, was awesome. Great. She was uh, amazing. She stayed at my house, actually, in my extra bedroom because she's not from um, Charlotte. And I remember waiting. She's like, did the blood come in? <laughs> and I was like, well, it might have come into the office, the, uh, the apartment complex office. And we checked. It wasn't there. And it was just this big thing about the blood has to get here. Oh, wow. But yeah, Nick C was phenomenal. Thank I just want to give him a shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. I was talking about like that, though, because. You know, and again, this is no bragging, name dro name dropping thing, but I've been around a lot of big stuff, and I've seen a lot of makeup, and I've seen a lot of makeup that looked like makeup. Her work was really good. Really I mean, good. I, I mean, it was like, why isn't she in Hollywood? She was really, really good. You know, there were no scenes, there were no folding up, there was no weird colors, there was no weird light, weird uh, 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 flatness where everything else is shiny or shininess where things are flat. She was really, really good. Your star was great. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And the whole crew was excellent. Yeah. I mean, every day that they made sure that we got what we needed. Where we needed to go. Just the whole cast and crew was just phenomenal. And it was a wonderful experience. And I thank you for it. That's my honor. Regina, I've been working with her for years, decades. I think she's she trained me how to act. Did we get her to say, These, this man has to go? <laughs> this man has to go. <laughs> I was a uh, where's Hunter? Hunter, yeah, I was going. That was a another spot that I wanted to have, have some of your music. Oh yeah, Hunter, tell us about your music, Sex Doll. <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, uh, I play. In, I've been playing in punk rock and metal bands pretty much since I was 13 or 14 years old, and I read this script, and there's the scene where my character is sitting in the car listening to a song, and I I went to Ryan and I said, hey. You want a song for free? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I had had this idea of floating around for a couple of years just to write a song called Fever Dream Sex Dog. <laughs> just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> and uh, so I, I went back and I, I uh, just wanted to write a song that kind of had a bunch of werewolf metaphors uh, that also could be interpreted a little dirty. I know. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the song made it in the movie, and that's pretty cool. Oh, no, it's, it's can't do it. Yeah, we gotta hear these kids. They gotta hear the full song. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel. You make, your, your, your lines make my wife laugh all the time. In a good way. She loves your scenes. Oh, yeah. Good job. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it was a collaborative effort, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's especially during um, the many emails during casting. Pleasure. This is kudos, a, a kudos to uh, Danielle. I'm glad you actually went up there because I wanted to ask you a question. And most people probably sitting here don't realize that that's not your normal speaking oh, voice. Yeah. <laughs> so I was wondering how difficult was it to get that um, accent together? Well, it was very difficult. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, I have been living here for 26 years, so I've had lots of, I guess it's from, you know, from hearing all of you guys talk, <laughs> like going to the doctor's office and uh, the dentist and, you know, yeah, so it's nuts. And, and it was, the way it was written, sort of, you know, it sort of, that it, it felt like that was the voice that was needed. And, and based on, you know, now that I've seen the whole thing, it was, you know, clearly that, that is what, what was, what the accent that was needed. So, yes, so that's. I just felt like that's a yeah. real testament to your kind of skill. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, well um, yeah, we better wrap it up. But uh, thank you guys, thank you for coming. Thank you all. Take lots of pictures.